Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A while back I got some international pen pals and up until now I'd only had a Dutch pen pal with who I've been writing for a couple of years but then I placed an ad online to search for some international pen pals and I actually found two people with who I'm now writing in a language other than English or Dutch. I found a Polish girl with who I'm writing letters in German and I'm also writing postcards to a French girl who is also learning Dutch so we kind of write our postcards in French and Dutch. She mainly writes in French but she adds some phrases or words in Dutch and I just kind of try to do both and I've really found writing to a different person in a foreign language really useful because I always want to write more in a different language because I really know that I need to be more active in a language not just train my passive skills like reading and listening but also I need to be more active with writing and speaking myself and just often writing for the sake of writing can be a bit boring like sometimes I really enjoy it but sometimes because my knowledge of certain language is quite limited. I can't really write very interesting things just about my day, what I've been doing, stuff like that. And if I just write it for myself, it feels pointless sometimes and I, it can be kind of boring, but with writing to another person, that really helps because then like, the other person also replies to the things you say and you really have kind of conversation going on and it really feels as you're not just writing for the sake of writing. I just like receiving mail and writing letters in general so if that's something you also enjoy doing and you're also learning foreign languages you could also consider writing to someone in a foreign language. The French person I'm writing to is a native French speaker and the Polish girl that I'm writing in German to is not a native German speaker and I think you can kind of get something out of an exchange with both because with a native speaker you'll maybe get some expressions or words you wouldn't have thought of yourself but on the other hand writing to a person who's also learning the language can be a bit less intimidating because you know they might also struggle with the same kind of things you're, you've been struggling with. I learned French and German in high school and even though German is the most easy for me to read, I do find it hard to write sentences myself. I think it's been like I only had German for the first three years of uh, secondary school. In the last three years of secondary school I didn't have any German classes anymore, just French. So I don't really remember all the rules and especially the cases of the articles. I kind of forgot how you're supposed to do them. Like I vaguely remembered some rules but I didn't really know it that well. So for my first letter in German, I for some words I paid attention to it but it probably was kind of a mess but already told um, the girl that I was writing to that I was really not that great at German but she kind of replied yeah I'm also still learning well her level definitely is higher than mine but it's kind of nice writing to someone who understands that you're still learning a language and it doesn't really matter that much if you make some mistakes. After that first letter I looked up the German cases again and I realized when looking at it that I kind of remembered a lot of the stuff still if I just went over it again, like somewhere in my mind it was like, oh yeah, I remember this from secondary school. For my first letter I also typed out everything before I was actually going to write it in a letter because I wanted to be really good and I was kind of like afraid that it would be really messy and she wouldn't be able to understand what I was writing so I really wanted to make sure that I was writing sentences that were understandable but with my second letter I already just started writing I was less nervous about like making mistakes I mean I know I'm gonna make mistakes probably with the cases a lot but it's fine it doesn't really matter and I do think what I write is you can at least understand what I'm trying to say even if I make some mistakes. There's a ton of websites where you can find international pen pals but I found mine on a forum of the Postcrossing website and Postcrossing is a kind of project where you can 
send postcards to random people in the world and then you'll receive postcards from other people. It's really cool. I've done it for a couple of years now and I've received lots of awesome cards from all over the world. And on my post crossing profile I also actually mentioned all the languages I speak to some extent and I asked people to write stuff in their native language and sometimes they do, they teach me some phrases or words in their native language and some people actually write to me in a certain language that I said I speak to a certain extent so I've received some cards in German as well, some in French and there was also a Norwegian person who wrote to me in Norwegian because I said that I can understand Swedish so she wrote in Norwegian like yeah I think because you understand Swedish you should probably also be fine with Norwegian and I could actually understand it so it was really cool to see that. I'm really curious to hear if you have any pen pals and if you write to them in a foreign language please let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye!